Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've had a, a chance to make a video. I've been really busy, but um, we're dealing with some stuff here. We had a contractor do a bad install for our air conditioning system, and I'm fighting that. And that's taking most of my free time. Uh, but the big solar project is the other big thing I've been working on. So the other day I built these Sun Gold power racks. They've been sitting in the boxes for a while, and I finally got the batteries out of the dining room and put these cases together, these racks. And I wanted to maybe put a video together showing how to build them because the instructions that came with it are just a diagram and it's useless. And they have a video online on YouTube that the actual company, Sungold Power, put together. It's brief and hard to follow. And if you follow their, their video, it doesn't really cover the details on a lot of important things, like exactly on which hole should you put this or exactly in which hole should you put that. And all of these decisions affect how it's all going to fit together. You've got to have enough room for the bus bars. You have to have, if you want your batteries to actually reach into here so you can uh, screw the ears on. Like, I thought about it, but filming that as a single person while I was trying to figure out how to put them together <laughs> would have been impossible. I needed someone as a second person for a camera, especially because these are black. But today I am going to show you something. So I'm showing you the racks in their completed form. They do not stack. I thought they did. That is a different brand. Uh, EG4 makes racks that are similar, fully built. You don't even have to build them, and they can stack. Uh, but even with these, if they had been stackable, it's just too close to the ceiling. It wouldn't have worked. So side by side it is. I decided I'm going to wire them separately to a bus bar with equal length wires, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I love these fully enclosed racks. They look nice. There's definitely some quality control, you know, limitations here as to be expected for the price. Um, you'll feel some sharp edges on the metal, especially on this piece here. Um, you'll notice that the cage nuts that are included are cheapest things ever. <laughs> uh, you know, so there was a few trade-offs, but overall I'm very happy with them. And I'm gonna show you today a little project I'm working on. So th this one is two batteries short. They're in my office. We'll walk in there in a minute. This one is done. So the build video, I already did this one. I want to do a video on the, this one. Um, and I will do the build video on the day I move the other two batteries. But I'm going to show you what it is I'm building. I had a neat idea with the rack. The fact that it's fully enclosed, has bus bars, glass case, it just spoke to me. It made me think of building a computer and the popular thing to do with computers is the RGB lighting. So I wanted to take something cool and make it functional. So what I did was I wired LEDs to the bus bars, which means now I have a visual representation of is this cabinet energized? I know those bus bars are hot, either from the batteries themselves or energy coming into them from, say, the charge controller, the solar charge controller. At nighttime, uh, you know, when you walk into the, the garage, it gives you enough room to, enough light to walk in here and, and be able to come over to the freezer and grab something out of the freezer like so it's just kind of a cool little thing I like but it gives me a little bit of extra safety what I might do today since I'm not building the second cabinet out yet is improve this I have an idea using my smart home skills and automation skills make this of the color changes I like red because red means danger and it just looks cool and it's also easy on the eyes like when you walk into my office when I work from home, I use red light all day because it's easier on the eyes. But um, I can take the data from, say, the Victron Smart Shunt, and I can then use that to go into an automation that says if the battery state of charge is, say, between 80 and 100, make the lights green. If it's between 60 and 80, make it orange. If it's between 40 and 50, make it yellow. I can actually make the lights change colors based on the SOC of the rack. And that's pretty cool. So 
I think it's a neat little idea. So this video is just to show the cabinets off, tell you I got them, I really like them, I can recommend them. Um, definitely, if I ever get a third one, I'll take the time to do a really detailed build video on how to put them together so you know exactly what's gonna happen. Because for me now, even though they're put together, if I want to tweak anything, I'm gonna have to take the whole damn thing apart and that's a lot of work. So I'd rather let you build it right the first time and not have to go through that trouble especially because putting the shelves on there with cage nuts is absolutely a pain in the A. So anyways, this is Patrick from Vicious Computers. I just wanted to get a video up and let you know I'm still here. We got, we're going through a lot right now. Actually, a lot more than I'm even talking about. And uh, stay tuned for new videos to come soon.